Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Earlier today, we filmed our boys' bathroom tours, the pool bathroom tour, and right now, I am going to be filming our guest suite, where we will show you our guest suite bathroom and the bedroom. It is not ever <laughs> where Jared and I film more than one video in a day, but I have been a little more anxious than normal the last few weeks. Um, you know, we had our IUI, and then we moved and we've been getting settled and we're getting things finished in the house. And so I've kind of just been taking a breather. Um, it feels really good to say hi, to jump on camera and to show you some awesome finished spaces in our house. Something I wanna say before we go in and show you though is we have tried to keep and build our home to be very classic. Um, my mom, you've seen her in a lot of our videos, you've seen her in her videos. She built her home a long time ago and even though there are some things in her home that has not been in style at the time, she has a very classic home. And what she has in her home right now is what's coming back in style. <laughs> she has the white oak cabinet. She did have white appliances, um, gold uh, fixtures on her doors. So what I believe what we have in our home is pretty timeless. Come on over to our guest suite. This is going to be perfect and has been perfect for when guests have come. And if we have another baby, we will have this be a nursery slash guest bedroom. So I really like this hallway as you come in. It makes it feel pretty private. I wanted a wall that showcased some fun adventures. Um, over the years, when we took the kids with Brian and Missy and their kids, to California, look how cute the kids are on the tree. We went to Disney World. Jared and I have had a fun adventure on our own when the kids and us went on a cruise. And then over here, this I wanted to be like family focused. We have, I would like to have had both grandparents with all the grandkids, but for now, we've got our awesome grandpa, Mikam and Tommy. And then we have all of Jared's family. I think that's such a beautiful photo. And then down here, again, it would be grandparents and all the grandkids, but this is what I had for now. This is my parents with Tommy. And then this is my whole family. And then this is our little family. Honestly, it could make me cry really quick. I am pretty emotional. <laughs> but I really, really love having like, when guests come over, especially family. Why am I crying? <laughs> Why am I crying? Um, when family comes and visits, I really want them to like see this and like feel the love that we have for them. I'm sorry I'm crying. I didn't think that that was going to make me cry. <laughs> so I really love this hallway, love that. I got these photos from Framebridge. Um, it was so easy because I'm not good at making collages, so got that from Framebridge. So come in here, this is the bathroom. How many times have you stayed at someone's house and you like woke up in the middle of the night sick, like had to go to the bathroom or had to throw up or something. I really like that people have their own space. Like, oh my gosh, it's so nice having that door closed and people feeling like they are in their own space. This bathroom is really fun. It feels more like a hotel to me with the raised sink. This is my favorite part. This was my friend and designer Susan's idea to do this. She knocked it out of the park with this. This sink is from Signature Hardware. I love that the faucet is coming out of the wall into the sink. I think that it just elevated this whole space and I really love it. Over here, I love this little trivet that I found. I have a little washcloth here, some hand soap, I think the laundress hand soap packaging is so stinking cute. So I have that right there. And then my absolute favorite, Bonnie and I, in our Bali brand robe, which guys, I think we just got in stock after a long time, a shipment of robes. So don't forget to check out Bali brand. I'll link that in our description. But I love that picture of Bonnie and I. And then when we go up, we have this mirror that we did not pick out. It was just like what you know, the contractors bring in, but I just love that it matches. It has a really pretty gold edge. And then the lighting, Susan picked these from Circa Lighting and they are just 
stunning. When we have guests come over, I want them to know that like their towels are fresh. So that's why I like to fold the clean towels and have them right here versus hanging them up. These knobs are my favorite out of the whole entire house. They look so beautiful. I love the uh, cutout in the middle. These knobs are from Amrock and they are stunning. I feel like they make the cabinetry look really simple. When you walk in, it's not like a harsh what's going on. Everything is so soft looking. So this is for our guests. We've got Q-tips. And then under here in this cabinet, I just have extra towels for our guests. Toilet paper. And these are all extras. So the tile that we picked out is just a really simple, really large matte finish uh, porcelain tile. This tile is the same tile that Jared and I have in our bathroom, and it's the same tile that we had in our old home, except it is a matte finish rather than a gloss finish, which I really like a lot. This is kind of like a funny thing to like, but I found this hamper basket from Bed Bath & Beyond, and I think the brand is like as UGG, which I didn't realize UGG made hamper baskets or garbage baskets, but I really like how soft that basket is. The toilets are the same that I've showed you in our other tours, but they are like a skirted toilet, so it's all seamless and so nice and easy to clean. I honestly have really enjoyed having these toilets. And then again, my favorite, absolute favorite uh, toilet paper holder. This is from Signature Hardware. It's really easy, really beautiful. And the tub, I feel like this is kind of the showstopper. This tile, it screams my name. Like the color is beautiful. I love how it's all stacked and it just is really beautiful to me. We've got a glass shower door, which we'll eventually put upstairs for the boys as well. And then whenever we have people stay, I always have a clean soap dish right here. And then usually when I clean the bathroom, when people leave, I'll put a new soap right there, just so people know that like, oh, that's a fresh bar of soap for me to use on my body. So that always just feels nice knowing that that's fresh and clean. So come on over to the bedroom part. We have uh, workers over, so I've had the dogs stay outside and Tommy keeps letting them in. This is the guest bedroom. We've had this bed set for 13 years and we got it from Bassett Furniture. It's been such a good bed set. There's a look that I would like to go for, but this is the furniture we have and it's held up really nice, so I'm really happy to have it. I feel like the bedding brightens up the room a lot. Of course, you all know I use Betty's Bedding, um, so I love having this. Um, we are going to put a TV right here for our guests and then we, we are going to bolt this mirror in. It is a very, very heavy mirror. I found it from Crate and Barrel um, and I really like having a mirror in here. Tommy, we just had our curtains and our blackout blinds installed. Um, I really like that I can just like push this and they'll go up and it brings in a lot of light. I feel like there's plenty of room on both sides of the beds for people to like put their suitcases. And then in, in the future, if we do have a baby, um, I believe I am, will probably take the TV down at that point um, or put a piece of artwork right here. Um, but I would have a little crib right here and a cute little rocker right here. Um, how many times, how many times have I had a baby and I end up just sleeping in our bed anyway or, or like the baby will stay in our room for a long time. So I, I don't mind having this be like a guest bedroom slash nursery if that ever happens. But right here, I love, um, Brian and Missy did this years ago when we stayed at their house and it made a difference. When we went and we stayed at their house, they had like water and treats. And it's nice because sometimes like at night you stay up a little longer in your bedroom and it's nice to have treats. So I usually will have a water and a few snacks right here. And every time someone has stayed, they've eaten them and I love it. Um, over here in the closet, it usually <laughs> is really empty. They have extra blankets and then our guests have used and will use 
um, hangers and there's plenty of drawers that our guests have used already. These are some of my little trinkets as a little girl. Um, but this is really funny. My dad has claimed this drawer, which I think is the cutest thing. He's like, all I need is two pair of underwear, jammy, two socks, and I just wear the clothes I come in and then I wash it and I leave. I think it's the cutest thing. So that's my dad's drawer. This is your dad's drawer. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Um, and then, you know, if anyone else wants to claim one, um, you better freaking hurry and come stay with us. There's only two drawers left. I think that's really fun. So this is our guest bedroom. I love how simple but elegant this room feels. There's plenty of space in here for people to uh, set up a desk. That's what your dad did when he came and worked. I love the vaulted ceilings in here. It feels like a dollhouse. Honestly, I wake up in awe every day. I feel like I'm living in a dollhouse. That was literally my dream as a kid. Like my dreams are coming true and it's, I love it. We, so we have a vaulted ceiling and we are having a chandelier coming really soon. That's gonna be from Circa Lighting. And then I bought that lamp a few months ago before we moved in here because I fell in love with it. It was a lot larger than I thought, so don't forget to measure <laughs> things before you buy them. But I do love that lamp. That's from Circa as well. And I'm not the best at styling, but I'm trying. So this is our guest bedroom. Thank you guys so much for coming along with the tour, um, with the crying. I'll have everything I talked about uh, linked in the description for you. And I will see you in our next video where we are going to show you our bedroom and bathroom tour as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.